Aloha! This is part two of our unique Hawaii food tour. Just like part one, these foods will stimulate both your eyes and taste buds. We have kulua pork fries, red curry fish, pure Hawaiian chocolate cake, macadamia poke, and all kinds of ube from the original factory. Basically an ube heaven and this is the grand finale. Grand finale. We have a couple more dishes, but I'll only show it to you if you subscribe to this channel. Okay, now I can show you the rest of the food on this tour. Unique French toast breakfast. The first purple rice yogurt drink in Hawaii. We are here in Kailua at the Oahi Island Grill and we're gonna try out some special food today. We're gonna have the Futakake Calamari, the red curry fish, and some dark chocolate cake. I can't wait, let's go in. We are hungry. So Guy Fieri ate over here. This is Oahi Island Grill. And when he ate over here, it was still a hole in the wall place. And may I ask how that's kind of changed maybe possibly the outlook of Hawaii Island Girl. When he came to our spot in our last location, we could fit 30 people. We had to move here, and this can see 90 people. So it, it had a big impact. We were very blessed for them to come to us. Walking inside, and I realized that they have an open kitchen, which I really like. It's a real local down to earth vibe over here and I'm digging it. Okay, so they just opened and the vibes is really cool in here. I mean, you have the inside dining, the outside dining, the bar, the open kitchen, everything is within reach. Oh, that was nice. We just met Tony and Chloe from Canada and they enjoyed our videos and we enjoy meeting people who watch our videos. We have the owner, Nick Yamada. He is known as Bear here throughout Kailua. <laughs> Why do they call you Bear? Because I'm big, I guess. And he's nice and friendly. Everyone knows this smiley face, but this is the guy I know. <laughs> but not only does he pack a hard punch, they have great food here. Okay, boom, now we're gonna try this. And one thing I like is that the sauce all right here to the side, and I'm just gonna be cute and pour it all over. The red curry fish. That is grilled fish topped with Thai red coconut curry served with rice and green papaya salad. It is onolicious. I'm gonna make sure I take some of this papaya salad. It is calling me. I want you to eat me. I wanna highlight the main dish of this is the fish. Sometimes you can forget that because the papaya salad and the Thai coconut curry sauce is so good. But with the base of this, the fish in itself is tender, it's fresh, it's moist, it's juicy. That curry sauce has the right amount of freshness with coconut and has the right amount of spice too. I am blown away. Mixed with the curry sauce equals heaven. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ni's gonna review the Futakake Calamari. So I'm just gonna have this coffee and try to be quiet because I talk too much. First time Sean brought me in here, I was so in love with this. She keeps talking about it, yeah, even yeah. after a year. I mean, there are certain dishes that you don't forget about. This is one of them. This looks appetizing. Outside looking super crispy. And let's have a look at the sauce. So, so yummy. And I'm so, so <laughs> jealous. Very addictive too. I think I can eat this every day. Look at the Japanese furikake. I'm so happy I have this all to myself. And all the seafood we're eating. I always have it all to myself. Thank mm. you for being allergic to shellfish. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Kulua pig is a dish that's really known in Hawaii. They have triple blend cheese, onions, tomatoes, and this looks like another fine dining version of fries. You can have, still have a little bit of cheese pool over here, so I'm already excited. Kulua pork looks like it's fresh. I 
think this is supposed to be an appetizer, but <laughs> it's appetizer for a family of four. And it feels like it's actually a main dish. It tastes as good as it looks. Inside here, with the Kahlua pork, you can see a lot of the tastes, the juices. I'm so glad that I'm me right now and I'm not you because if I was you watching me, I would be really hungry. Oh, wow. Wow, that was a powerful punch right there. <laughs> The gravy is on the bottom and you blend it together. That is a winning combination. Yeah. We had a bunch of winning combinations. <laughs> it's a winning combination. It's a winning combination. Now we're gonna try the dark chocolate cake. I'm excited. Are you ready? We're ready. I think you're ready too. This looks amazing, as you can tell. The chocolate was sliding off a little bit of this really cute cake. The bottom is quite hot too. And I am interested to have some dark chocolate cake from the Wailua estate. Mm -hmm. You want to try at the same time? Yes. Yeah. Oh gosh. I really like how that chocolate cream is really popping out of this cake. Three, two, one. Mm. That is some authentic, pure chocolate made from the heavens. I want to say the chocolate is real smooth and silky. It's creamy. Uh, what do you think about it? Very, very delicious. I think it's one of the best chocolate cakes I've ever had. Anyhow, guys, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to finish this chocolate cake and off to the next place. We're heading to a brand new poke spot located in Waikiki, right over to the Sato Seafood. I heard that they have poke over there with a, a little bit of a twist. Can't wait, let's go. Aloha, I met Eric and Loida from California and they watched the vlog, so thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Appreciate you. Hey, Hello, how's it going? Hey, how are you? We're glad to meet Shoji, the owner, and... Oh, and the store manager. No, I'm sorry, Shoji, the store manager. We want to make the different stuff. Like, as you can see, macadamia aburi salmon, the wheat torch salmon, with sweet soy grays and mayonnaise, and we cover with macadamia nuts, and the torch again is smoky and tasty. Have you ever seen this in other places? This is the macadamia abari salmon poke. The macadamia that's spread on top of it with the poke and the rice as the base. Now, don't be mistaken, these portions look small, but they're quite heavy and they're good enough to last you for another five or six hours like any other big meal. Because even though this is small in size, it packs a huge punch. Kind of like Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Anyhow. <laughs> Let's eat. This will hold you off. This will be good enough for lunch and dinner. Okay? Tabi Masho. Let's divulge in this right now. You gotta be joking me. That was onolicious. You have the poke that's really fresh. The mayo that adds a little bit of the flavor and twist towards it. And I think the macadamia nuts adds a little bit of crunchiness. And it tastes so good. So I like how the way they add the Hawaiian feel towards it with the Japanese style. So if you're looking for poke with a bunch of flavors, this is it. Now, off to the next one, the Hawaiian munchies. I got the munchies. It has a lot of tenkasu around. Tenkasu is flour batter that's added for that crunchy texture. And you can see the spicy mayo and the soy sauce too. Oh my. It looks quite oily and it looks like the poke is alive. Look at all the crunches too. On three, ikahi, elua, ikalu. The poke is spicy, it's flavorful with the onions. It's a little sweet because of the mayo and the garlic is perfect. And I think the tenkasu with the crunchiness adds the extra kick towards this poke, which makes it quite different than any other poke I've ever tried. It has all the spices and all the flavors that you would want to satisfy all your cravings. They're both amazing, but I think that this is my favorite poke dish I've tried. They're playing Brada Is next door. 
And nothing's better than eating poke and listening to Brother Is and all his classics. Hey, Ala, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. Thank you so much. It was so good. Yeah, Appreciate thank you very much. I'm so very much for the whole thing. Uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Sean Kaliponi Dozi Yodoshku, Namaiwa Nandeska. Yeah, your Japanese are perfect. Sugoi, <laughs> Sugoi. <laughs> See, not only do I speak Japanese, I speak fluent Vietnamese too. Oh, really? No, I'm just joking. No, no, that's for the cast for a lie. Leaving the beautiful but busy Waikiki. Now, off to the west side. Here we are in Wahiwa. This is on the west side, kind of out of the way. I think this is the second time I've been here in my life. And I've been living on this island since, well, since Michael Jackson came out with the song, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. And we're gonna go ahead to the Uber factory. I just heard that they have some authentic ube and I wanna check it out. With the ubi craze, if you want to know where the original spot on the island is, it's here. Off the path, out of sight, but I'm here to bring some light to the site. But before we go, because it took me a while to find this place, there's Tukuyama Ramen, there's Wendy's, and the Uber factory is right here in the corner to the right. So what's the uh, what's the popular items of, of ubi here? That I would like this is what we're known for. This is our original ubi thai. These are the first iconic ubi tarts in Hawaii. Meet Chef Andy. Six years ago, he was the first to sell the ubi tarts. Chef Andy's in the house when he get down for Wahiwa. <laughs> the question is, how did it all start? And I just created that tart, like, just one day I bought it to a party. From there, everybody liked it and we started just selling it at my other job. So the list just got too long and then I decided to do it full time. Mm. I used to make ube cheesecake like 10, 15 years ago. So it wasn't something new to me. But ube is like new to me. It's yeah. only been like a like, couple years where I've known it. Like for, for you to say that something was there 10, 15 years ago yeah. is just mind boggling. Today's special is Konamoka. So I'm assuming that uh, it changes weekly with the special? Yes. Mochi bombs and turnovers are the best seller. But come early. Oh no! <laughs> Turnovers and the mochi is fresh products, so we only mix so much. So once it sells out, that's it. So it's quality over quantity. Then unexpectedly. Oh wow! Yeah, so we do this on special um, events, or, um, holidays, but we have some available today. Mm, yes. <laughs> So they open at 9 a.m. and they're open on what days? Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday and Saturday. 9 to 2. Opens only twice a week. And we also have our products in different stores. Uh, Dean and Deluca in Waikiki. Taniokas in Waipahu. Uh, LNL by the airport. That's great with more options because I do hope for extending opening hours. And this is for you guys to oh, eat. Oh, thank you. I got so much to try. Look at all this ube right here. Let's go. Wham! That is what we're gonna be reviewing right now. I am excited. Me too. A little too excited. Me too. Okay, okay enough of us talking about me too, this too, that too. Let's get to the ube. That's what you want to see, right? And let's eat it. We figured we'd start off with this because this is the basic, this is the original that's sold with ube. Look how delicious this looks. And we have something uh, similar to this before in City Square. I got so excited, I forgot to mention what ube is. Ube is a purple yam sweet potato from the Philippines. You can tell that it's really stable and how the way it looks like if I press on it it doesn't crack or anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing I can say about the crust is high quality like how I just mentioned earlier but it's still soft to eat though. Yeah it is. The clays are really nice on these ubeis. A sugar glaze. And the inside is soft, cold with the yogurt taste. 
that's pretty sweet. It almost appears as if this would be a small portion of an ube pie. And speaking of ube pies, we do have a big one. <laughs> yeah, but that's coming to the end, so you have to wait, guys. So stick around. In the meantime, we're gonna try the next tart, and that's the special for today, which is the Kona Coffee Ubi Tart. Right. Well, awesome, we have a couple of friends here. We have Joey from New York, Gina from Wahiwa, and my son Joanne. He's been with me for 32 years through the military. Nice. Uh, ubi tart. Have you tried an Ubi Tart before? What I eat potato. it? It's, it's, a, it's a seafood. First time trying Ubi ever. I'd eat it. I am eating it. <laughs> what do you think about it? Good. <laughs> nice. Bringing ube throughout the world and sharing it with others. Kona coffee is some of the highest quality we have here in Hawaii. Mm. I could taste the Kona coffee on the top. I could taste a little bit of the chocolate ice cream pudding like feel on the bottom. And with that crust, which I love, it just all goes together. And it crunches down all in my mouth. What a nice treat. Yeah. So That's amazing. Let's check out the next tarts. Thank you, Chef Andy, for all these cute, beautiful tarts here. Check this out. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Mm. <laughs> it's white chocolate mocha because there's white topping on the top, then boom, the mocha right here on the bottom. So it was quite a surprise. Boom. What is this? This is our double chocolate halpia. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. That they call this double halpia because on the top, the halpia is quite thick. It's dense and they packed a lot of halpia into one little area and that's on the top. I agree. Everything you just said. What was that? The, the lily, lily koi. koi. Remember the lily koi pancakes we had? Yeah. I want every last drop of this lily koi sauce. Wow. It's so fresh. It's good to have a little bit of balance of some sourness, sweetness, and combining it together in this tart. This one stands out the most. I love that we're trying the same tarts, but they're different. Oh. Same, same, but different. This is the Halpia Ube Cake. Okay, let's go. I think it's my favorite. I will call it the perfect Hawaiian Filipino mixed dessert. I will call it the perfect dessert. And I will call it my favorite. And I'll also say that you did save the best for last unknowingly because in my opinion, this one was the best one. Although the other ones were really good, but we love this. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look how cute they are. I think they're ube cookies right here. It's all right. Oh, maybe because I eat nothing but sweet cookies all the time. So it's more of a natural taste, which I know that a lot of people can appreciate. I appreciate this mm -hmm. a lot. If you like a natural ubi cookie, I think you'll like this. This is the grand finale, the main event. This is what you've all been waiting for. And a drum roll is necessary for this. I think it deserves it because when you see this, it is the ube pie, 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 and it deserves all our attention. I came here to the ube store not realizing that they had ube pie. They didn't have extra knives, so I think I'm gonna have to get creative, and I'm gonna have to ask Ni how we're gonna eat this. You know what? I'm gonna go old school Filipino style, and my grandma was full Filipino, and she would eat with her hands like this. She would eat, yeah, she would eat the right. I think we should just take a big bite. <laughs> Maybe just like this? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs> I totally don't mind. This from top. Okay. Top down. Top down. <laughs> I think before we take a big bite in it, I just want to tell you that when you look at this thing, you can see a lot of the granola nuts inside. All I know is that there's a whole lot of crunch in here. <laughs> I'm down. It's an ubi explosion. Oh, 
That's what happened. And if the rooster could taste this, they'll be screaming a little bit louder because we are celebrating our taste buds right now. And there is a whole lot of ube. So I don't even know how the bottom is. From the top down, it's already so yummy. And I think we should get down to the bottom of this. It's ube all around. Basically an ube heaven and this is the grand finale and rightfully so. We've never tasted that much ube in one pie or just in anything period. We're in this beautiful gardens here. It's time to see you guys later. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Peace. This is what I want. And I want this too. And may I have a look just like how the Instagram pic shows? Uh, I'm just joking. We are there in approximately 14 seconds. I have a sweet tooth and I'm excited to be here on my day off. We're pulling in right now. Mm. I'm only here for the dessert. That's what I want. Bam, bam. Since it's takeout only and we can't dine in, I'm gonna be a gangster and eat in the parking lot because not a lot of people do it. Where's a good camera angle? Right, right, here. Okay, good. And this looks delicious. Not as delicious as the pitcher. It's all good because as long as it tastes it's good. I'm gonna have some of this whipped cream, put it with the ube, and indulge in it right now. I'm just gonna go ghetto and eat it with my hands, okay? Now, I'm gonna add some of the whipped cream. I see some of the almond there. I'm gonna go right in. I'm not gonna be nice about it either. Wow, it is filling. And I think they do a good job of making this French toast with the whipped cream as a dessert-like breakfast. Hard to accomplish. I think they did a good job. That's the reason why it's so popular here. One of a kind. I'm just glad to enjoy this. And there's no place I'd rather be besides here. Well, I don't want to be in this parking lot, but there's no place I'd rather be besides eating a button-up cafe breakfast on my day off. Cheers. Rice yogurt. That's cute. I thought you were talking about that. Oh, that's cute. Wow. You can taste the taro, you can taste the rice pudding, and you can taste how it mixes all together with a little bit of jelly inside, too. That is crazy. Well, Kao Kao is not normal. I mean, just look at this face. The face looks crazy, the drinks are taste crazy, but crazy good. Ovaltine malted drink with boba on the bottom. Let's try. The boba is hot, but the drink is ice cold here with the whipped cream on top. So you can taste the mushiness of the whipped cream followed by the icy malted Ovaltine with the hot boba on the bottom. You just gotta try it for yourself. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen part one, the link is in the upper corner. And if you wanna see a part three, let me know in the comment section. In the meantime, I'm gonna go exercise because I don't wanna look like Maui. All right, I'll see you later. Aloha. Hey, hey. Cool, cool, cool. Man, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate it. Hey, Sarah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but you I'm like so, it. I'm so disappointed in you and him for loving sugar so much. And he got to the point where he got addicted. And I actually had to tell him to stop eating so much sugar. That's it. Well, that was deep. Yeah. Sorry. I just got a little <laughs> bit personal. <laughs>